Hi students, we are going to start 12 standard portions. Hope you will make use of it. I don't want to take first volume because it carries so many equations and we need periodic table also. So I am going to start with a chapter which is full of theory. 10th chapter which is in the second volume, page number 70. And the chapter name is Surface Chemistry. Surface Chemistry as the name suggests, it is a branch of chemistry that deals with surfaces. The surface may be a solid, liquid or a gas. And here we are going to discuss about surface chemistry. Initially, what is surface chemistry? It deals about processes occurring at interfaces between faces. Interfaces in the sense when there are two faces. For example, this is a phase and this is a phase. This may be a solid or this may be a liquid. So this region where a solid get, comes in contact with a liquid is called as an interface. So there are certain process which uh, can be quoted as an example. Coating of surfaces. So you are going to coat one metal over the other or coat paint on a metallic surface. Evaporation is a surface process. Skin care creams. See when you apply a cream on the skin, it absorbs. The skin absorbs. It will not go into the bloodstream. It may not go into the bloodstream, but it get absorbed. All these processes can be quoted as an example for surface processes. That is processes that are taking place at the interface. So in order to understand surface chemistry, you need to study about, you need to know about an important process called adsorption. Adsorption is a phenomenon of attracting and retaining the molecules of a substance on the surface of a liquid or solid resulting into higher concentration at the molecules on the surface is called adsorption. That is, see, whenever there are two surfaces, I mean two, an interface, whenever there is an interface, the molecules of this face, say liquid, get adsorbed on the face, say solid. Okay, so this can be given as an example for adsorption. That is, the concentration of the liquid molecules are more at the interface than at the actual face. Adsorption of gases at metal surface is called occlusion. So adsorption, if it is corresponding to a gas on a, which is adsorbed on a metal surface, then it is called occlusion. So I repeat what adsorption is. It is a surface phenom phenomenon. The phenomenon of attraction and retaining so attracting the molecules are attracted and retained on the surface of a liquid or a solid resulting into high concentration at the of the molecules at the interface then it is called adsorption example silico gel adsorbs water Charcoal adsorbs colorants from sugar. You already know in the manufacture of sugar, the actual sugar which is extracted from sugar cane juice is brown in color. The color of the sugar, the brown color of the sugar is removed by treating it with charcoal. Charcoal adsorbs the coloring substances and leaves the sugar as a colorless one. This is an example for adsorption. Similarly, silica gel small granules of silica gel when it is put in water it converts gets converted to big globules because the water is getting adsorbed onto the silica gel so that is an example for adsorption now the substances which are involved in adsorption can be called as adsorbent and adsorbate what is an adsorbent and what is an adsorbate for example, consider a solid adsorbs a gas 
or a liquid then the solid which is adsorbing is called as adsorbent the substance which is getting adsorbed is called adsorbate adsorbent is the material on which adsorption take place so this is the substance this is going to adsorb the gas or liquid then this substance which is adsorbing is called as adsorbent the substance which is getting that is the substance which is in pink dots getting adsorbed onto the surface of adsorbent is called adsorbate so the definition of adsorbent is it is the material on which adsorption take place example silica gel the metals like nickel copper silver gold etc certain colloids can act as adsorbents adsorbed substances is called adsorbate the substances which are getting adsorbed they are called adsorbate example helium neon oxygen nitrogen sulfur dioxide ammonia all of these are gases interface i already discussed about what is an interface in the first sheet the interface is the space where two phases meet phases in the sense p h a s e s one may be a solid that there may be a liquid or both may be liquids or one is a solid that there is a gas both are liquids both are um, solids etc so what is an interface surface of separation of two phases where the concentration of adsorbed molecule is high suppose between the interface i mean uh, between the two phases the sub one of the substances is getting adsorbed the concentration of the adsorbed substance is greater at the interface two phases two phases the substance which is adsorbed so this is adsorbate this is adsorbent and this is the interface the particles of the adsorbate is greater at the interface so that only is mentioned as the concentration of adsorbed molecule is high yes at the interface the concentration of the adsorbed molecule is high so at interface the concentration of adsorb adsorbate is high then it is called positive adsorption if the concentration of adsorbate is low then it is called negative adsorption okay what is the opposite of adsorption that means when a substance is getting adsorbed that is adsorbate is adsorbed on the adsorbent it is called adsorption when the adsorbate is removed from the adsorbent then it is called desorption removal of adsorbed substance is called desorption now we are going to discuss about characteristics of adsorption so what are the characteristic the important points key points i have written the first point it occur in all interfaces whatever may be the point of contact between the two faces which is, can be called as an interface in at any interface adsorption is possible and then the interface may be i mean the the phases may be solids liquids or gases for example gas solid interface liquid solid liquid liquid solid solid etc second point spontaneous process it is a spontaneous it need not be induced it is a spontaneous process how white phosphorus catches fire by itself when it is exposed to air like that a substance which is adsorbed onto a surface is natural is spontaneous it is not induced for any spontaneous process the free energy change is negative so delta g is negative we already know that delta g is equal delta h minus t delta s from second law of thermodynamics so that is the change in free energy is equal to the change in enthalpy minus temperature into change in entropy and 
adsorption see the molecules for example when you consider a surface and this is a solid which is an adsorbent and these are a gases adsorbate the gas molecules gets ordered onto the solid when it gets adsorbed so the orderliness okay the disorderliness decreases orderliness increases so hence there is decrease in entropy entropy is a measure of disorderliness disorderliness or randomness of the molecules of a system so the randomness decreases it comes to an orderly state hence decrease in entropy there is a decrease in the entropy that is delta s is negative so t delta s together will be negative and next point adsorption is an exothermic process that is heat energy is evolved hence it is exothermic so what are the characteristics of adsorption occur in all interfaces it is a spontaneous process delta g is negative delta s is also negative therefore t delta s is negative it is an exothermic process now we are going to discuss about types of adsorption there are two types one is physical adsorption the other is chemical adsorption when you consider an adsorbent and an adsorbate the pink molecules are adsorbate molecules you can see on top of the adsorbent layer there are many layers of the adsorbate and these layers are held together by van der waals force of attraction van der waals force means an unknown force the force we do not know why the force exist why the force of attraction exist such unknown forces are termed as van der waals forces of attraction so the adsorbate molecules are adsorbed onto the adsorbent and they form many layers and they are held together by van der waals force of attraction then it is called as physical adsorption chemical adsorption here you can see the adsorbent and adsorbate molecule are in one layer there exists a chemical bond between the adsorbate and adsorbent so there is only a single molecular layer of the molecules that is the adsorbate molecules onto the adsorbent and the adsorbate molecules and adsorbent surface is connected through chemical bond not by van der waals forces example for physical adsorption is nitrogen gas adsorbed onto mica gases which can be adsorbed by charcoal charcoal is a porous substance which can adsorb gases example for chemical adsorption oxygen adsorbed onto tungsten adsorption of hydrogen on nickel all these are chemical adsorption physical adsorption can also be termed as van der waals adsorption or physis adsorption chemical adsorption can be termed as activated adsorption or chemisorption so so far we have discussed about what is adsorption and what are its types we'll see in the next video